Hey, what's up? Once again, welcome to another Star Wars graphics tutorial hosted by Kit Fisto of the ForceEffects.com Jedi Archives forums. I invite all you Star Wars fans to come out to the Force-Effects.com Jedi Archives and uh, interact with thousands of other Star Wars loving folks like yourself. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do in this lesson is we are going to uh, make this picture right here into this picture with a pulsing saber. Now I've done a pulsing saber tutorial before but this is a much updated and better looking tutorial. So let's get started and we have this image opened up in Photoshop and I have the saber cloned out. So basically we're going to do just like my normal lightsaber method. At first we're going to go to layer, new, layer and we're going to put the mode to screen and super important as always click fill with neutral color black or it will not colorize okay so now I'm ready to start drawing it out make sure my foreground color is white here and uh, select the uh, pen tool and start clicking away clicking the tip of the hilt and I'm gonna click on the top And you can use your arrow buttons if uh, right and left arrow to even it out. And let's zoom in here, try to get the roundness. Looking good. Zoom back out. All right. So let me just position it a little bit better here by uh, clicking the pointer tool. And... All right, so that is where I want it to be. So now I'm ready to start my uh, glow method, like I've showed you in the last tutorial. Uh, if you haven't watched the last tutorial, you'll know how to make normal glows. So the first thing we're going to do here is uh, this first layer. We're going to go to blur, filter blur, Gaussian blur and give it a blur radius of one all right okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this layer five different times so uh, what you would do here is you would go to layer and you would go to duplicate layer or you would just press control J okay so I got five different copies now the very first one we're just gonna click the I so it's uh, it's just not showing up. We're going to use that later. That is going to be what makes our glow. So we're going to start with the last four. Okay, uh, we put the first layer, the Gaussian blur one. So we're going to click under that layer, blur, Gaussian blur, and give it a radius of 10. All right, under that, click that, blur, Gaussian blur. Double our blur, so this is 20, and the last one is, of course, 40. Blur, Gaussian blur, 40. All right, so now we need to merge all these layers into uh, this black uh, background layer. So uh, you would either go to layer and merge down a bunch of times, or just hit Control E until they're all here in the black background layer. So ready to colorize it so we're gonna go to image adjustments color balance and I'm gonna give him a red saber alright it's looking pretty sharp Okay, now, so now that we have our saber drawn out, uh, we're going to go back to the uh, layer that we uh, basically turned off here, the shape layer, and we are going to select uh, <coughs> in layer, layer style, and outer glow, and we're going to pick a uh, nice dark red here, clicking there and then selecting our color, and we'll go with spread 5 and size 5 to start. So now we're ready to jump to image ready. Warp speed to image ready. File jump to. All 
Alrighty. When an image ready. And we're ready to start pulsing our saber. Okay, so this is the animation timeline. Basically what we're going to be using. So click here, layers. Or just go, if you're not seeing them, go to, uh, go to, uh, window and check mark layers. And select that outer glow, double click on it, and you'll see spread five, size five. That's good for our first frame. So highlight the animation thing, click this little square thing, and put the second one to 10. Click it again to duplicate it, put size to 15. Click it again to duplicate it, put size to 20. Click it again to duplicate it, size to 15. Click it again to duplicate it, and finally size of 10. So now we have it basically how we want it. Now we just need to click the first frame and click the last frame by holding down shift and put it to one second and preview it. And it's looking pretty good there. It's pulsing. And that's basically it. Now I'll show you something that'll uh, kick up your pulse up another notch. You go back to layers. You take this uh, main pulse, this uh, the main color layer, and drag it down here to duplicate it, and put down the opacity uh, to like maybe 35 or something. And okay, uncheck it for the first frame, and then scroll down to your uh, to your fourth frame where the saber is extended the most, and click it. So then it'll only show up on that frame and you'll see that makes all the difference gives it a nice little flicker right at the fourth frame and that is basically it my friends do a burn tool back of the saber to make it a little darker alright and now there you have it, a beautiful pulsing lightsaber, courtesy of your friend Kit Fisto. Let me click on the password. And that's it, Master Voss is doing his thing with his red saber. Now you're doing your thing with the Force Effects method of lightsaber pulses. So once again, Come on down to the ForceEffects.com Jedi Archives forums. I'm Kit Fisto. May the Force guide you.